Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Beautiful morning here today at Lazy Acres of Aurelia, Ontario. We're going to take a look at a 2022 Winnebago Micro Mini, model number 2306 BHS, but this one has the Flex package, which is fantastic. It comes standard with a 320 watt lithium ion battery double solar panels on the roof, high efficiency appliances with your AC, your furnace, and your water heater. Whole lot of value with this one. It's also got a shower miser, which is Brendan's favorite. This one makes Jeffrey Dahmer look like a good babysitter. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. There's a like button, there's a subscribe button. Please hit both of those. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook. Follow us along there also. Comment section's open. Let us know what you think about this Flex package and if you think all the other manufacturers should add something like this to their lineup. Right on, Brendan. We also have this without the Flex package currently in stock here. Uh, so if you don't necessarily need all those off-grid features, hit us up for that one as well. Power front jack. 20 pound repaint tanks. It's got the 30 pound tank cover, so you can always put bigger tanks on. You've got your battery in a box location. Never mind. That's just gonna be a tray because your battery in a box is inside the passer stores. We're gonna see that kind of here in a second. These uh, micro minis are seven feet wide, so they're super nimble going down the road. This particular one weighs around 4,800 pounds with that flex package, aluminum framing, fiberglass skin, plywood floors, passer storage going right through there to the other side. Over here to your right, you can see the big breaker here for that lithium ion battery. The battery itself is in behind this cupboard right through here. You can get to it by taking these screws off. No real reason to get to it, but you can do that. Um, and then across on the other side, you can see you've got your charge controller over through there. We got big windows on both sides of the bedroom. One of the keys to these Winnebago's is that they use every single spot for storage or for windows. There's very, very little wasted space. Schwinn textile slide, probably our furniture off the floor double axle with torsion suspension so it's going to ride really really nice there's your furnace vent right through here we've also got <clears throat> our bike door which we can close and open that's how doors work right here you can flip this bunk up store your bikes in through here larger storage items fridges whatever you want to do in through here your sewer drain is also down there we've got four electric stay buzzer jacks that are individually switched city water connection cable satellite inlet roof ladder get up on your roof and check your seals every 90 days there's plenty going on up there it's got to be done outside shower full-size spare tire we're gonna put that beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you and then you're also prepped in the roof um for a uh for a backup camera in through there and i love this deco brennan i think that's just great this is the idea that you're plugged into the earth you're running off grid how many likes is it going to take to get that tattooed on your chest only 25 likes thousand <laughs> okay okay Let's do that. twenty five thousand likes uh, oh 25 <laughs> i'll do a thousand likes. for your chest no problem yeah. electric awning starting here covering our main door outside speakers led lights in the awning and then uh yeah we got a few things going on here too blackwater flush kit outside tv location you can screw it in right there we have outside uh, spray port Freshwater fill, and then there's your Truma on demand water heater, lend a hand grab handle, double step entrance up into the trailer, and then just right here is the other side of our pass through. Uh, the inverter charger is uh, built in behind this bulkhead as well, so that will actually operate, let you operate uh, like your 110 appliances, like your, uh, your plugs, your um, your AC, that kind of stuff, fresh off the battery without plugged in at all, which is fantastic. Mr. Hanemeyer, you want to head inside? Let's do it. All right. Right on, folks. We're inside that Winnebago Mini Micro Flex Package 2306 BHS. That's a mouthful. Here at the front, we've got our front couch. This turns into our Murphy bed, though, really easily. Pop that down. Bring this down. We've got our full-size bed right in through there. We've got receptacles on both sides and USB on the one side over here. An open shelf with a receptacle even across the top. Hanging storage on either side here. And then these big windows, Brent, that's a real key here. You know, bringing some nice cross ventilation in through here. And then we're gonna have some cupboards on either side of the bed. And then plenty of cupboards here underneath the bed. Oh, I should've done this with the bed up. But big drawers in through there as well. Really, really big drawers. And then right here, we got the booth dinette. You can option this with the uh, 
uh, that tri-glide sofa, but most people with the bunk model are looking for with the bench like this. Uh, you can turn this into a secondary bed if you need to. You sit up in this slide, because it's a pocket style slide, uh, but there's no like table legs that are in the way, which is super key. Window over here, nice sliding window, so we're getting good, some good airflow. And then we also have good storage here underneath both sides of the data as well. Then here's your TV. This works out really well because it's across from your dinette and across from your couch. We've got all our controls for our high efficiency appliances right in through here. Our radio controls here. A nice little cupboard there. And then I mentioned you could charge your cell phone here. I don't think I did. Wireless charger. Wireless charger. Nice cupboard right through there as well. Now into our kitchen before we get to our bathroom or anything, we've got our 12 volt fridge. That's a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Really cool, it's very fast, very safe going down the road. We've got our convection micro. We've got a bunch of overhead covers right through here. Kitchen window, nice seamless countertops right through here. Look at that bag of manuals you got there. Undermount stainless steel sink. And then a pull out faucet right through here, which is super handy for doing your dishes. Um, we've got drawers, oh, pardon me, pop down piece here. Drawer, drawer, and then we are gonna have a pop down piece here for your low point drains, and then big cupboards right through here. All right, for garbage can recycling, that kind of fun stuff. There is no oven because we have the convection microwave. We have a pop down piece here for your breakers and fuses. Drawer right through there for pots and pans. Glass stove top cover covering up our three burner stove top. And then, uh, yeah, I love these backsplashes, Brendan. Like, they're just, Winnebago always knocks out of the park with the backsplashes. Just nice, like, you know, from the counter right up to the bottom. It's not chintzy halfway or nothing. I just like that. We got our single over single bunks here at the back. Uh, they're each good for 250 pounds. They each got lights. Top one's got a window. Bottom one's got that door, so you can bring a nice natural light in through there. And then here's our washroom. Washroom on this, you know, narrow camper like this is fantastic. The you know squat check checks out the dump truck fits in through here. We've got one cupboard here down below. We've got a stainless steel sink, also a medicine cabinet there. And then we've got all this linen closet in through here. Okay. And then I'm six feet tall. Let's see here if I fit. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, my head's in the skylight, but I can definitely shower in through here. I like the clear doors like this because this makes the bathroom feel bigger than it actually is. We got the uh, shower head, nice basin in through here, everything you're gonna need. Show off the shower miser. Okay, so shower miser. What this does is, you know when you're um, <clears throat> uh, when you at home, when you first turn the water on the shower, it's cold for the first you know five to ten seconds or so. When you're dry camping, you don't really want to do that because you're wasting that water in your freshwater tank. So what you can do is you can flip this valve, turn on the uh, uh, the shower, get it up to temperature, and then instead of all that water wasting and going down through the drain, it's actually just recycling, circulating back in. And then uh, when the water's up to temperature, then boom, you're ready to go for your um, uh, for your shower, then you'll be wasting water. It'd be nice if we had that on the reflections too, eh, Brandon? Yes. They're on the man water heater. Awesome. That's the video, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.